Alrighty guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm gonna be diving into the world of soft mounting motors. This has been a little trend going on recently. People are trying to figure out how to get rid of all of their flight controller issues, whether it be mid throttle vibrations on KISS for example, or vibrations anywhere really. And a few people have discovered that soft mounting the motors actually really helps. Now a little background on the history of soft mounting motors, at least with me, I'm pretty sure I was the first person to ever, at least on a mini quad, soft mount their motors. Uh, it wasn't my idea, it was Zach Thayer's idea. We basically narrowed it down to the motor is the only moving part on the drone, uh, so that has to be the source of the vibrations. The entire frame and how everything was mounted was sturdy, so the only source of you know a vibration was the motor. So we took electrical tape, lined the bottom of the motors, it solved all the issues. The vibrations, the mid-throttle vibrations on KISS, they were gone instantly. It was like the most surprising but satisfying thing ever. The simplest change, it just made my quad fly perfect. So I'm going to talk to you guys about how to do it, and we're going to do a uh, little experiment with it today. Alright guys, so this right here is the test subject. This is a quad that does not have soft-mounted motors, and it's a quad that I know flies fine. Basically what I want to test today is uh, to see if soft mounting motors can improve the feel in general flying. So I'm going to fly two packs without the motor soft mounted, uh, show you guys some footage, tell you how the quad feels in the air, and then we'll get to taping and see what changes. Um, hopefully something, you know, I'm hoping it gets smoother, but let's find out. I do three layers, and for three layers with this width of tape, you're gonna need six pieces, about uh, an inch and a half each in length. I'm gonna tape with the length of the arm to start. The tape isn't wide enough to cover the entire width, so I do two like this and then just cut off the edge. And now I'm gonna do two perpendicular just across the seam right here. And then two more pieces back in the uh, same direction as the first two pieces. Obviously it doesn't need to be perfect as long as it covers all the carbon, you should be good to go. I am going to finish the other four on my own and then I'll bring you guys back into it once they are done and we get to the flying. All right, guys, I just finished the first test with the tape on the motors. I was honestly not expecting a lot and that's why I did the test before I actually started filming, like which I am right now. It felt amazing. It just felt so much smoother. I, I hope you can see it in the footage, I'll find out later, but it feels amazing.
it turns out you can't really tell any difference between the soft mount versus non-soft mount in the HD video. Kind of unfortunate, but I'm telling you and you have my word, it feels so much better that I don't think I'll ever fly another quad, my personal quads at least, that uh, are not soft mounted. So if that means anything, I suggest you try it out yourselves. You would always take the tape off if you uh, dislike it or you don't think it does anything. Uh, but until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay juicy. And just so you guys know I'm not like messing with you, you can see all of my quads right now have it. This is the Armatan Chameleon that I'm working on. This camera would focus, but clearly taped there. This is the one I just did. Oh my god. The focus on this thing is terrible. It's not smart enough to realize I'm trying to focus on this and not the bed. Anyways, this is my main quad, the Alien 4.5, and, and it's clearly got tape there as well.